I wish I'd known that IVF doesn't work for everyone. I'm Carrie Friedman, author of the book Pregnant Pause, and I'm 34 years old. Um, a couple years ago when I was diagnosed with endometriosis and my doctor suggested that we do in vitro fertilization, my husband and I were actually relieved because at least we had a diagnosis, at least we had, uh, there was a reason for why we were having difficulty conceiving. Um, what we couldn't have known at the time, of course, was that we were only halfway through our diagnosis. Um, we were very encouraged by the success rates for IVF, and I think we just sort of naturally assumed that eventually we'd be on the winning side of those odds. We were wrong. We did three rounds of IVF and created many beautiful embryos, but unfortunately, once they were transferred into me, whether it was through a frozen cycle or a fresh cycle, the embryos would not continue to grow. Either we would get a, a, a negative pregnancy test or worse, I would have a miscarriage. Um, during these 15 months, I started to realize that I was on what I call the hope disappointment roller coaster, where basically we would hope and hope and hope for weeks and months leading up to the transfer and, and you know, taking the five hormone shots a day and the long two week wait before the pregnancy blood test. And then of course there was this, the crash of disappointment when we got bad news. Um, but I developed a coping mechanism that really helped me through the hardest of the times. Um, basically what I would do during that long two week wait before the pregnancy test, I would make a list of all the things that I would do if heaven forbid we got bad news. Um, and on this list I'd put like really fun things, but, but fun things that I couldn't or would, wouldn't do while pregnant, like go out for margaritas with girlfriends, um, horseback ride. Um, uh, run a few miles. I would put all these things on the list so that when I got bad news, I would refer to the list and it would become like marching orders of what to do to get out of my head when I was sad, to get out of bed, to get out of the house, and to, you know, of course the first few weeks I was just sort of going through the motions, but at least I was moving and at least I was trying to move forward. Um, a couple of months ago, we found out that I tested positive for all of these rare antibodies that basically uh, make it very difficult, if not nearly impossible, for me to carry a pregnancy to term. Obviously, this was devastating news, but again, it was a diagnosis nonetheless, and we are looking at our new set of options and trying to figure out what to do next, but um, I can already feel we're back on the HOPE roller coaster, and I just really hope that we don't dip down into disappointment again.